Now let us move on to the third question. An army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? So now let us move on to the solution. Given is number of members in army contingent is equal to 616 and number of members in army band is equal to 32 and the given condition is two groups are to march in same number of columns therefore the maximum number of columns that satisfy the given condition can be obtained by finding the highest common factor that is the HCF of 616 and 32. Clearly, 616 is greater than 32. So let us divide 616 with 32. So here 616 is the dividend then 32 is the divisor. 32 times 1 is 32 and we are left with the reminder 29 when we bring down 6 we have 296 32 times 9 is 288 the reminder left is 8 therefore from Euclid's division lemma 616 can be written as 32 times 19 plus 8 since the reminder 8 is not equal to 0, we again apply Euclid's division lemma for 32 and 8. So now let us divide 32 with 8. 8 goes in 32 exactly 4 times. Therefore, 8 times 4 is 32 and the reminder is 0. Therefore, 32 can be written as 8 times 4 plus 0. Since the reminder obtained is 0, HCF of 616 and 32 is equal to 8. Therefore, the maximum number of columns in which both the groups can march is 8. Now let us move on to the fourth question. The question is use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m and the hint given is let x be any positive integer then it is of the form 3q, 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2. Now square each of these and show that they can be written in the form 3m or 3m plus 1. So now let us move on to the solution. We need to prove that the square of any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m so let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 3 
so from euclid's division algorithm if a and b are any two positive integers there exists q and r such that a is equal to b q plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r is less than b since here the value of b is 3 we have a is equal to 3 q plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r is less than 3 this implies r takes values 0 1 and 2 therefore let us first take r is equal to 0 this implies a is equal to 3q plus 0 which is equal to 3q now let us square on both sides therefore a square is equal to 3q whole square which is 9q square. 9q square can be written as 3 times of 3q square. So this is of the form 3m where m is equal to 3q square. Now let us take r is equal to 1. Therefore a is equal to 3q plus 1. Now let us square on both sides. We have a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square. This implies a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square is of the form a plus b whole square and it can be expanded as a square that is 3q whole square plus 2ab that is 2 times 3q times 1 plus b square is 1 square this gives 9q square plus 6q plus 1 9q square can be written as 3 times 3q square plus 6q can be written as 3 times 2q plus 1 from this 3 is a common factor so we bring it out and we are remaining with 3 times 3q square plus 2q plus 1 so this is of the form 3m plus 1 where m is equal to 3q square plus 2q now let us take the value of r that is 2 so we have a is equal to 3q plus 2 squaring on both sides we have a square is equal to 3q plus 2 whole square which implies a square is equal to 9q square plus 2 times 3q times 2 plus 2 square which is 9q square plus 12q plus 4 9q square can be written as 3 times of 3q square and 12q can be written as 3 times of 4q 4 can be written as 3 plus 1. So from the first 3 terms we have 3 as a common factor. So we bring it out and we are left over with 3 times of 3q square plus 4q plus 1 plus 1. Now this is of the form 3m plus 1 where m is equal to 3q square plus 4q plus 1. Therefore, the square of any positive integer is 
is of the form three m or three m plus one. Hence, proved. Now let us move on to the fifth question. The question is use Euclid's division lemma to show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. So let's move on to the solution. Here we need to prove that the cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. Let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 3. Using Euclid's division lemma, we have if a and b are any two positive integers, there exists q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r is less than b. Since b is equal to 3, we have a is equal to 3q plus r and 0 is less than or equal to r is less than 3. This implies r can take value 0, 1 and 2. Therefore, any positive integer a is of the form 3q 3q plus 1, 3q plus 2. Now consider the first case where r is equal to 0. This implies a is equal to 3q. So q being on both sides. We have a cube is equal to 3q whole cube which is 27q cube. 27q cube can be written as 9 times of 3q cube. This is of the form 9m where m is equal to 3q cube. Now let us take case 2 where r is equal to 1. This implies a is equal to 3q plus 1. So cubing on both sides, we have a cube is equal to 3q plus 1 whole cube, which implies a cube is equal to 3q plus 1 whole cube is of the form a plus b whole cube. And it can be expanded as a cube which is 3q whole cube plus 3a square b that is 3 times of 3q whole square times 1 plus 3ab square that is 3 times 3q times 1 square plus b cube that is 1 cube which implies a cube is equal to 27q cube plus 27q square plus 9q plus 1 which implies a cube is equal to 27q cube can be written as 9 times of 3q cube plus 27q square can be written as 9 times 3q square and 9q can be written as 9 times q plus 1 here in the first three terms we have 9 as a common factor so we bring it out so we are left with 9 times of 3q cube plus 3q square plus q plus 1. So this is of the form 9m plus 1 where m is equal to 3q cube plus 3q square plus q. Now let us take case 3 where r is equal to 2, we have a is equal to 3q plus 2. So cubing on both sides, 
वी हैव ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यूब प्लस टू होल क्यूब विच इम्प्लाइज ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू द एक्सपांशन फॉर थ्री क्यूब प्लस टू होल क्यूब इज थ्री क्यू होल क्यूब प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री क्यू होल स्क्वायर टाइम्स टू प्लस थ्री टाइम्स थ्री क्यू टाइम्स टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू क्यू विच एम्प्लाइज ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन क्यू क्यू प्लस फिफ्टी फोर क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी सिक्स क्यू प्लस एट विच एम्प्लाइज ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन क्यू क्यूब कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइन टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री क्यू क्यू प्लस फिफ्टी फोर क्यू स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइन टाइम्स ऑफ सिक्स क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी सिक्स क्यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइन टाइम्स ऑफ फोर क्यू प्लस एट विच एम्प्लाइज ए क्यूब इज इक्वल टू सिंस नाइन इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर इन द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स वी ब्रिंग आउट नाइन एंड वी आर लेफ्ट ओवर विथ नाइन टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री क्यू क्यू प्लस सिक्स क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फोर क्यू प्लस एट दिस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म नाइन एम प्लस एट वेर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू क्यू प्लस सिक्स क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फोर क्यू therefore cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 hence proved